looks like it might be another rainy camp here. <laughs> you see my blanket up there ahead in the in its bag getting rained on. And if it gets a little bit on it, it'll dry out pretty quick. It's pretty well warm even when wet, so it really won't matter that much. Which is one of the nice things about it. Well, the rain's coming down a little more now. Good thing I got my poncho on here. Because it's raining pretty good here. <laughs> how to set up the canopy top with tent poles and you can do this with tent poles or willows or whatever you might find showing a cut customized to our particular poncho and how it's set up so this if you have a different poncho than ours you have to do this differently what we've done here I've got a set of <coughs> 13 inch Easton aluminum tent poles and what I've got is I've got some strips of double-sided Velcro. It's got the hook on one side, loop on the other. And I'm using these to just to assure that my tent tubing stays in the end of the tab where it needs to go. And, th and these could be longer. These are, I think, about two and a half inches. But so what I do is I just let it stick out just a little bit, fold a little bit over. And then I'm, what I'm trying to do is make this only as wide as my strap is right here. So I just fold that back like that. So the strap here is actually taking all the stress. The Velcro, all it's doing is just keeping the tent pole from sliding out. Okay, so here's two sets of poles. to keep them together with a little piece of shock cord that I also reuse as part of the setup. And this is an important part of it, actually. We're going to lay these down here in a X fashion. As you may have seen me do this uh, with willows. So we're going to the inside. So all I do is stick this behind that Velcro. I'm trying to do it so you can see it and I can do it at the same time. So you see there it is. It's in there. If I pull that, twist that around, you can see there's the end of it. The Velcro's wrapped around holding it in place and now here's the important key this pole is longer than it's longer than the diagonal uh oh the rain's coming all right so what i want to do on this end right here is i flex it like this so that's how that will go is like that and i'll do the same thing over here now this gives us our tension into our four corners here. But now this piece of shock cord goes on here. This is the important thing about the short piece of shock cord that I use that I put with my tent tubing. And I want to just kind of snug it up a little bit. And a little more. What we want to do is it provides resistance. I have to move this X point right here where these two cross. This is a, this poncho is a PSS XL. So it, so the hood is right, right here is the very middle of the poncho. If you have a PSS L, it's gonna be back here a little bit behind the hood is gonna be the center of your poncho. What we need to do is the easiest way is you gotta lift up on something so that it starts flexing in this way right here. Then we take this and we start moving that towards the center. As you can reach through the hood right here. And what we want to have is we adjust that to the middle point right there. Once we've got that done, then it will sustain its domed shape. Alright, so I'm going to get this thing 
in place here at the hammock. I just tied the hood off with the just tied the hood off with the uh, hood cord. All right, so now I, this is where I take a take a cord, a shock cord, or whatever you want. <clears throat> I've always got plenty of shock cord with me because we use it with our tarps. As you can see, I've pulled it up past the end of my hammock just a little bit, and then it's like it's going to start to rain again. <laughs> I have to put my poncho back on. So anyway, then you snug that up. That holds this in place. That makes it so this whole thing swings with the hammock, so it's all integrated together. My my canopy is now integrated really as part of my hammock setup. Here for the rain. See if she's done. Oh yeah, there we go. A few drops of these old beat up pie tins I've been using for years. I'm working on a bow bed for my lean-to shelter. So I'm just going to trim it up some wood here and stuff like that. Just All right, so this is the basic raised bed. I could, in the winter time, I'd probably make it higher than this. But I'm going underneath that lean-to, so I really am a little bit limited on my height. But the main thing is to just get up off the ground a little bit. The way if it's raining and water's running, it can run right underneath you. Our framework is just is made out of poles, uh, running lengthwise, and a couple of uh, some spacers going crossways to uh, to elevate another row of poles just to get your your altitude, how high you want to be. Small sapling type wood on here, and this is designed to be a springy platform. Now this whole thing is all lashed together. I can pick up the whole bed all at once and move it around. I've raised, raised that up and shoved that piece under there. And that is about level. All right, now it's time to, to put a covering on here. One of the, one of the advantages of making a raised bed like this is now I've got a place to sit that's why I didn't really want to go too much higher because right here at this level I can sit inside the shelter up off the ground support for and you see I can bounce on this and uh, so it's kind of like a springy mattress so I'm not now I'm laid down here I've got a kind of a cushy bed here I could put some more boughs on it if I want to but this is actually just fine like this. Also, if you're a side sleeper, this works well too. If there's anything that bugs you when you first lay on it, then you want to fix that because it'll continue to bug you through, through the night. I could sleep like this, no problem at all. There I've got my, my lean-to shelter with the, with the raised log bed. When the fishing's no good, that's when it's time to That's when it's time to mess around camp a little bit. <laughs> I'm just tinkering here. A little bit of some hard knotty wood to kind of get through here. I'm just making a dovetail notch and uh, I was actually just, I was actually just messing around because I kind of want to make a, a, an upright pull for my lean-to awning over here, and uh, 
thought it'd be cool to make an upright pole and then just dovetail in your dovetail in your a piece coming out this way to support the uh, to support the awning instead of having to have these upright poles. I'm I'm enjoying my time at the lake. Fishing has been awful. Everybody I've talked to has been skunked. I haven't even seen anybody today with a fish. Hey, when you got a nice camp set up, got some shade, you got, you know, your nice gear and everything, take a nap whenever. It doesn't really matter if the fishing's good or not.